going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today hey we have the fourth day review the day four review between india and england of course this test match i mean this has been a brilliant game of cricket so far and it's coming down to the last day you can't ask for anything really much more um england need 119 more runs so look they're in the box seat now. England are in the box seat. I mean, I was here yesterday doing my day uh, my day three review and talking about how India were in full control of this game. And, well, it's crazy how th things just change that quickly um, and a few good partnerships and, you know, just the, the pitch kind of flattening out, wearing down the ball, obviously wearing down, is going gonna, is gonna to keep on helping. So, yeah. Um, yeah, they're in the box seat right here, England. But if there's anything you never want to do, you never want to doubt India or you never want to put them in a position where their backs are against the wall because that's <laughs> that's where they win the most. When you put when you put them against the wall, they've got to fight their way out of a situation. That's where they strive the best. And that's where they're going to find themselves on day five. So, hey, if you guys are new, subscribe. We cover cricket here daily. Um, and hey, let's just go through it. We left off yesterday. Uh, India were three for something. Three for 70. Oh, was Kohli out? I can't remember. I know, yeah, I think it was three for 75 because Kohli, yeah, went out. And it was Pant and Pajara were out there, I believe, at the start of day four. Pajara, I mean, he went on to get 66 of 168 deliveries. I mean, that's his role. That's what he does. And he's looked really at home as an opener. Um, so, you know, obviously Rohit Sharma and KL Rahul both come straight back into this team. But it leaves Pajara. You know, he'll probably now just go down to number three and bat. But it leaves you another option. If, if you've got a, you know, if Rohit's injured again or Rahul's injured or, you know, someone's in bad form, you've got this instant replacement at the top of the order to open in Pajara, which not many test nations have. Like, as an Australian, for Australia, I can't think of someone who just walks straight in as an opener, um, you know, who, who, who can bat somewhere else in our batting order. So it's a good thing to have. It's a good problem to have as well in the future. But, um, you know, I think that partnership between him and Rishabh was so important. You know, they, they worked so hard at the end um, of day three to get themselves in a position where they had a platform to go on and, and put 450 plus on the board um, you know, of a target to be set for England. Couldn't exactly get to that. So Rishabh, I mean, he went for 57. Oh yeah, he played a few nice strokes, uh, a few cover drives and then went for 19. Um, Jadeja, he went for 23. Couldn't, you know, find any more heroics but you know India wasn't really looking for someone to be a hero they were just looking to put runs on the board and make sure they had enough time to bowl at England under lights and I don't know if they made the most of it I mean yes the pitch did start to flatten out but we will get to it in a moment actually because Takua he went for four Shami um, 13 or 14 you know providing some late runs with Bumra and Mohamed Siraj inspirational at the end with two off nine we move on to the English bowlers, though. This is where they actually bowled pretty well. Jimmy Anderson, 1 for 46 off 19. Broad, 2 for 58 off 16. Matty Potts, who has probably been the most impressive bowler in this, this game so far for England. Like, obviously, Jimmy Anderson took a fifer in the first innings, but or what was it, a fourfer? But we've seen Jimmy Anderson do that his whole career. It's cool to see England actually have a, a new paceman who is fun to watch. Um, still waiting for Jofra Archer to come back. Who knows if he'll ever be back. Jack Leach, 1 for 28 of 12. <laughs> Credit to him, he actually bowled okay. Ben Stokes as well, hashtag F Ben Stokes. Well, he took 4. He took 4 for 33 off 11. Uh, he bowled really, really well. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, and Alan DeGeneres, none for 17 off 6 overs. So, um... Just something else to note about Jack Leach is that they started day four with the ball in Joe Root's hands instead of Jack Leach's. So their, their first choice spinner, England, was Joe Root at the start of the day. 
That's in, like, I'm sorry, Jack Leach, but that's, <laughs> you are the frontline spinner. That is your only job in the team. And you are getting replaced by a guy who bats at number four. He bats at four. Um, I forgot where he batted for a second. Um, all right. Well, England, a target of, let's, let's, where's the target at? 378 now. I said on yesterday's review, I said they needed anything 350 to 400. I mean, they're in, they probably got right bang smack in the middle of that. And now it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Um, I mean, even if they set a target of 450, it still doesn't look like it's going to be exactly enough. But, hey, I mean, credit has to go to the way England have batted here. Um... Yes, again, the, the, the deck has definitely flattened out. There's no doubting that. I mean, when the ball just gets old under lights, it becomes useless. And they found themselves in a situation there, India, where there were just a few meaningless overs that were being bowled. And England batsmen really took control for, for a big part of that last session um, and controlled the flow. There was, you know, there was a moment where India did take a few wickets. Jadeja, you know, brought a spark. Bumrah bowled an absolute... Jaffa to Zach Crawley. Um, all right, let's go through it, though. Alex Lees. Wow, he got burnt by his ex-captain. Did he even play under Joe Root as captain? Probably. Um, but, yeah, Joe Root ran him out. Oh, I could not believe it. it <laughs> Joe Root, he, he ran, and Alex Lees didn't even think there was a run there. He was not interested in running at all, Alex Lees. And Joe Root, a.k.a. Alan DeGeneres II, said... Get me up the other end. <laughs> oh, I want to get some runs. And in doing so, he ran out his teammate, who was by far the best-looking batsman out there. Like, he was in full control of his innings. Um, gee, I reckon Joe Root, he's pretty happy that he's done pretty well for himself now because if he went out after running out Alex Lees and they lost, <laughs> it would have been a big blame on him. Um... He went out for 56. Crawley, again, that was a beautiful delivery from Bumrah. Uh, Crawley just, he thought it was going to go over the stumps. It didn't. It hit him straight in off stump. Ollie Pope, he went for a duck. So there was a bit of momentum. Um, I thought Jadeja took a wicket. Oh, no, that's from the, uh, he did have a referral that was, like, hitting outside the leg. I think it was. I can't remember, but did he? Yeah, I think he had, might have had two reviews. Uh, there were a few reviews. There was one um, that Joe Root, we thought he it was pad first, but I think he hit it into his toe. I can't remember. It was like, look, it was about 1 a.m. <laughs> I couldn't remember everything. Uh, it wasn't 1 a.m. It was earlier than that. Where are we up to? Joe Root, uh, look, not out 76 off 112. He's got nine fours to his name. Johnny Bearstow. These are... I mean, if you were India... And you said, what is the worst situation we could be in heading on day five? It would be a Joe Root and Johnny Bairstow, both on 70 each, not out going into day five. I mean, if, if, if they can't get both of them out within the first 10 overs of day five today, the test match will be over very quickly. So, um... Yeah, it has to be wickets, and they have to come very, very early. But again, we've seen... Like, this is test cricket. Like, we have seen crazy shit happen. Like, we've seen the most craziest endings happen. So, you never know. But Bumrah, he's going to have to lead the charge. He's been the best bowler, um, and he's going to have to lead the charge again. He's going to have to take a few more poles. He's got two for at the moment of 53 um, of 13 overs. Shami, he's got none for 49. Jadeja, I thought, bowled really well. Um, Siraj, you know, when I was talking about a few meaningless overs, it, like, obviously, Siraj, what did he take? Four in the first innings, but I don't know. It just felt like he, he just kept bowling too short. It was a lot of half volleys at times. He just didn't get consistent at all with his line. He would have bowled, like, one good bowl, and then it was about four balls in a row that were either short or, like, a a full half volley sort of thing. Um, and then Johnny Bairstow is not the guy you ever want to bowl a, a half volley to. And Lord Takua, I mean, he bowled okay as well. None for 33 off seven. But I tell you what, someone like Ashwin would have been pretty, 
pretty good. Now, look, Jadeja is a great spinner. He actually bowled, I thought, pretty good. But just having that more experienced spinner with more variations. One of the greatest spinners we've ever seen in Test Cricket, Ashwin. If he was here playing in this game right now, I feel like they might have England, you know, five down, six down going into day five. So, hey. Also, that sun, if there is really bright on, on my face right now, the sun is shining through the window and it is blinding me. Uh, but hey, we're going to day five. Look, England, they're in the box seat, but we've seen anything happen in Test Cricket. So, let's let's hope for a Boomer Fifer, a Jadeja Fifer. I don't know. Someone just has to take the wickets and it has to happen soon. Um, yeah, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who's going to take the wickets? Um, or is England going to cruise to victory? I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see everyone in the next one.